From 1925 to 2014, the United States corn yield measured in bushels per acre, bushels per acre, grew by approximately 2.41% per year. By contrast, during the same time period, soybean yield grew by approximately 3.5 bushels per acre every 10 years. All right, so there's something interesting going on here. They've given us the how much the corn yield grow, grow, grows in percentage terms, on a per year percentage terms, while for a soybean yield, they tell us how much it grows in absolute terms, 3.5 bushels per acre every 10 years, or I guess you could say on average 0.35, if you divide by 10, 0.35 bushels per acre per year. An NASS study, a, a, a NASS survey showed that in 1959, the corn yield was, actually let me make a little table here. I'm already sensing this will be useful. So let's think about this. So we're going to say, so an NASS survey showed that in 1959, the corn yield was 51.2 bushels per acre. So this is going to be corn, and then they talk about soybean in a little bit. So soybean. So in 1959, in 1959, the corn yield was, so we're going to assume everything is in bushels per acre, 51.2 bushels per acre. And the soybean yield was 23.5 23 bushels per acre. Based on the information above, which of the following is the best estimate for the difference between the corn yield and the soybean yield in, the, in 1974? So 1974. So how many years have gone by? Let's see, this is going to be 15 years. So this is going to be plus 15 years from our 1959. So actually, the soybean is, is a little bit easier to calculate, because they just tell us the absolute number of bushels per acre every 10 years. So 15 years, if you do 3.5 bushels per acre every 10 years, well, 15 years is just going to be half more of that again. So this is just going to be 23.5. So in 10 years, it'll grow by 3.5 bushels per acre. That's what they tell us. And then in another five years, it'll grow by half of this. Half of 10 years, well, it's going to grow by, let's see, half of 3.5 is what? It is 1.75. And so what is that going to be? Let's see, 23.5 plus 3.5 is gets us to 27. And 27 plus 1.5 is going to be 28, or plus 1.75 is 28.75 bushels per acre in 1974. Did I do that right? 23.5 plus 3.5 is going to be 27, 28.75. Yep. So if we grow 3.5 bushels per acre in 10 years, we're going to grow 1.75 bushels per acre in the next five years. That's the 15 years right over here. This is 10 years plus five years. So we get to 28.75. Now corn, what's, what's corn going to be? Well, here we're going by a percentage every year. So this is going to be 51.2. And we are growing, we're going to multiply this times 1.0. Two four one. If you're growing by 2.41%, that's equivalent by as multiplying by 1.0241. You 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 grow, you keep what you have, and then you add 2.41% right over here. And you're going to multiply that by as many years as you have. So it's going to be to the 15th power. Well, I don't know what 1.0241 to the 15th power is, but luckily this is one of the questions where a calculator is encouraged. So let's figure this out. So let's figure out, let me make sure it's all cleared out. 1.0241, and let me raise it to the 15th power, is equal to 1.42, all of this business, and then multiply that times 51.2. So times 51.2. Point two is equal to 73 point, well, roughly 73.18. So this is approximately 73.18. Now what they want is what's the best estimate for the difference between the corn yield and the soybean yield? So the difference 73.18 minus 28.75, and they have a couple of choices that are kind of close. So let me just make sure I do the math right. I can do can do this on paper, but we have our calculator, so I'll just use that. So minus 
0.75 to calculate the difference gets us to about 44.4 and if we're going to round to the nearest whole it would be 40 well, the nearest whole it would be 44 so it's this choice that choice right over there